and welcome to episode 86 in my quest to play Norway perfectly on GeoGuessr. That is, my aim is to play the maps of each and every single one of Norway's 356 communes to a GeoGuessr score of 25,000 points each. Today we have made it to one out of two communes named Vorlid. Now, this Vorlid is uh, located in the inland region, the inland region, which is uh, the central bit and easternmost bit of southern Norway. And as you can see, this is the Vorlid commune we're going to today. The other one is located in the Viken region down here. But yeah, this Waller commune straddles the river valley where the Glomma River runs, the longest river in Norway. It's just east of the city of Hamad, south of the town of Elverum, and pretty much consists of three communities. You have Waller, which is a central village, and there's a smaller village called Broskredfoss, and then there are scattered settlements up towards the Swedish border, an area that is sort of generally dubbed Finnskogen, the, the, fin, uh, the fin woods, fin forests, which extend pretty much all the way south through uh, the woods on the Swedish border. So if we wind up out here, that's going to be an interesting one. Uh, I've only been through here once and that was last summer and I was only driving through the place on, on the route two, so I don't really know anything about this area, except that it's heavily wooded and also there's a fair bit of agriculture going on. So that said, let's have a look at some facts about Vorlid before we start playing the map. First commune, second commune will come up some later stage. And this is pretty much how I remember the area from, from when I drove through it. This is not the number two, by the way, because uh, that is a, a definitely a more uh, main route. So let's see, Hindals move in. Okay, so the road to the Hindal plain. And the whole lake and the Hyndal's plain ponds. All right, I don't know where Hyndal is, but I think I saw. Oh, wait a minute. That's convenient. Would be even more convenient if I could read it. Let's see if we get a different angle on it. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay, can't read that one. That's a shame, but I think I saw. Road sign down here. There's another one without a sign. Okay, let's see. Name of road can be helpful. And it's called Silke huh. The Silky Lake Road. And this is definitely an area for hikes. There's a Nordre Kindalsrun, the Northern Kindal Round. So. A trail I'm crossing a river. Oh, look at that! Wouldn't that be nice? Even though this is a heavily mosquito infested area, this looks does look nice. Okay, so what is this place then? Hinbrua. Okay, so this Hin thing is definitely a general name in the area. And boom! <laughs> uh, let's see. So these are Stone Age dwellings by the, I think it says the Hindal Waterways. There's a biking routes, routes, and Hindal and, uh, well, I guess we can't go far wrong if we try to figure out where this Hindal River is. And uh, so how about, how about here? Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. It says experience Hindal. That sounds rather like what we just, yeah, look here. We've got two sets of bridges here. And what do we have? 
a new and an old one. And right now we're heading back across the river towards the southwest. Right. Mm. So we're heading southwest. There should be should be another little bridge here. I'm a little curious to spot that. Yeah. Must be an oh yeah, a sort of a back eddy or something. But okay, so that means that we are down here ish. That must well, the road we see enough here must be that one, and the road behind us must be the other one. So that should be possible to figure out. Okay, one, two, three. Call it four. And the other one. One, two, three, and a half. Okay. So let's call it seven and a half. We're four from that and three and a half from that. So middle is roughly there. So if I put it there, that can't be very wrong, can it? Seven meters away. Cool. Oh, there's actually some habitation here, and this could be on the two. Let's see what it says. Come to a place called Aid, Isthmus. And what else? 60 kilometers to Kongsving, so that is the next city. And we're coming up on the 210. Okay. Coming at the 210, and the road goes to Braskereid. So 210 is the route, let's see, where is the 210? So this wall, yeah, 210 is the route going up the western side of the river. And we're coming in and heading northwest. So this is Vorlid. So where is Aid? And we're coming up on the 210. We're not here because then we're in the next coming. This is a really narrow one. It's basically between here and here. Hmm. No. Nah. I will need a little more to go by. So, Aid, I don't remember that from when I came here in the summer, although. Uh, I don't remember the name, but the area looks sort of familiar. Let's have a look at this crossroads then. So it's all off to that side. To the Berge side. So Ber the Berge side road. The trouble is here that these roads all have numbers instead of names. It could be here though, possibly, couldn't we? Except it doesn't match with that house. Hmm. But I don't think we're here. Because then we would have a long bend. So what other roads are we that go? And then let's have a little look at how. Yeah, this one turns. And then there's an access road going off to the side. Is that that one either? Uh, it's definitely not here. So could it be here? No, that's Hustler Moor. This, this can't be right, can it? No, because the road going, turns the wrong way. I'm not even sure I'm on the two. It could be like... Uh, hmm. I don't know. Puzzling. Okay, so if I check this one, it says, okay, so. Okay, so we're south of Vorlid. Because Vorlid is to the north. And there's Vorlid. So that means. Yeah, what does that mean? So, and we're not here because the road goes the wrong way. Uh, we're not on this road either. No, oh, for crying out loud, we're on the 210. <laughs> Here we are. 
Oh no. So I thought I thought we were I thought we were on the south or rather on the other side of the bridge. Or rather the river and we weren't. Ooh, but this is gonna pose a challenge. I I I I'll have to come back on my way all the way down there unless I can find something. Let's see if I look to the north. That looks like a barn or something. Or this environmental facility. Mm, let's see. Which is which? I think those houses are what I'm having a glimpse of over there. And um, I wonder if that could be that. And that this one is a building that's not listed. If I look to the west, I will only see trees. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Ooh, hmm. Let's see. So, um, let's see what we done here as a preliminary finding. And then cut away to that access road there. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is that it? Not sure. But it must be. Yeah, so eleven to that one. This looks a little odd, but yeah. I think that is it. Should be. 11. Let's see, there should be some houses behind me, shouldn't there? Yep. Okay, so that was 11. Then to the other road. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, it's not this, is it? 37, we'll call it. I think that's actually it. There we go, so now we're going down on the river. House is on the other side. 37. Yeah, we'll call it that. Given that little shift thing. 37 and 11. 48. Okay. 48 between there and there. Makes the middle roughly there. So that's 24. And 12. Looks my initial thought wasn't that bad. So let's call 11 there. This could well be off, but we'll give it a go. Six meters away. Phew. I, I know I complain a lot about bends, but straights are even worse. Okay, this should be possible to figure out once I know where I am. Yard Chance Vein, the Fens Pond Lake. Or, no, sorry, the Fens Pond Road. Hmm, let's see, might we be crossing a river down here? Definitely a stream. Yeah, oh. Borderline River Case. Right, so that should possibly help me. And what would help even more is if there are any sorts of proper road signs, but I think, well, if I'm going eastwards, I'm going towards the border, and that's just going to be more and more depopulated, really. So, I think I, whoop, wait. Where did, where were you? There you are. Let's see. This time we can read it, and we're on the 491. The 491. Let's see. 
this is huh. yeah this is the 491 and that's very helpful because it's like goes like all the way from here up through here and up here across where we were and all the way up to this place called Grav Berigenta, the Grave Hill, Graveyard Hill or something. And then I guess the 491 is the continuation of this thing. And so we reach here. So this could be tough, but at least we had that. We had that road to this lake, and maybe we can find the lake. It was called Yerit Yana or something. And uh, let's see, what direction was it in? So it was on, it was on the north side of the road, okay. Hmm. Let's see, Bölschön. What was it called? <laughs> Lala Pond. A puddle. Hmm, no, no, no easy giveaways here, that's for sure. So this one, we'll have to remain a mystery for a little bit, just going to see if there's anything to see around the bend here. Bumps, okay. What sort of bumps? Let's see, and we're heading in as a general eastern direction, well we know that the 491 does that. Well, yeah, well, it's awfully bendy, and uh, that doesn't help me a lot. Well, it's climbing all the way, going uphill, 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 uphill. But no, we're not going to find any communities here, are we? It did say five kilometers this way to something, and that's like an awful lot of clicking. That's a road. Okay, that's just the road numbers. Mm. Thing is, there's going to be an awful lot of clicking regardless where I go. Mm. Let's put a checkpoint here. And then head back the other way and have a look. And there's a sign of sorts down here. Now that's just because of the bend. So we're going southwest and quickly turning almost northwest again. Okay. There are several places that could be, given the layout of the road. So I will need something firmer. Roads going off into the woods everywhere, but um, nothing really helping. Now there was one thing though, and that was that little river. Mr. Bölsche Setra. Okay. So here's Bölsche. So the northern Bölsche and the southern Bölsche. Okay. We're heading westwards. So could that mean that we're somewhere, uh, somewhere in this area here? So this is Eastern Bölsche Mountain Farm. Or east of. Wait, wait. The name of this river is Yara. So this must be the, that must be the road to the, uh, here's the Yara the, uh, the, uh, the lake that that first road was pointing to. So we must have been there. Let's see, looking north, yes, crossroad goes off like that. So, if I'm looking north, ooh, this is easily missable. But, um, let's see, I think I'm going to save it there. And if that is off by more than 25 meters, I'm going to be sorely crossed. Two meters away, good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This looks familiar. So let's see, um, yeah, we'll have to move to, so we're on the two now, and uh, right, 
So traffic center, the Waller Sports Hall, and a high school, and an information board about some industrial or commercial area on the two. Now let's see. So this is, uh, let's see, it's not here because that's Hustlemon. I need to go to Waller. Could we be, no, we're not, we're not here. So where are we? Are we here? No, we can't be. Well, one thing is that it's familiar. I do remember this place, but uh, this is an old army base. I think they had an artillery, artillerist training site or something here. Is this the place? Sort of much, no doesn't because this is straight oh wait a minute this is off to the southwest ah this place just messes so much with my brain so I hear well, then there should be another crossroads here no there isn't it's called Dumbwegen okay the dam road it's not that Not a lot of any more to pick from, though. And if we go down this way, we wind up in the village. So why? <laughs> ah, the way this place messes with me is just terrific. So looking northwestwards, and we're on the two. And this is called the Dam Road. Well, let's follow that for a little bit. That's the information. Oh, we're at Beraskred Foss. I thought we were at Wallet, so we are actually up. We're in the next little village. Here we are. Here's the high school. So we are on this crossroads. Right. And we are just smack here. We should be. Uh, no, wait a minute. Are we? I don't see that access road there, do I? That little... Unless it's meant to be that. That thing. Ah. But are there any alternatives? That's the line other. Not really, is there? Okay, let's see if that occurs. If I move southwest now, do I find that road there? Yeah, that must always be the one coming down to the side here. Yep. Okay, this one had me well puzzled, but I think that's the right choice. Well, you all saw the layout of that crossroads and how that is supposed to be right given the position we were at. I have no idea, but we're still within the margin, so I'm not going to moan long about it. Ooh. Ow. This is where we're staring a second playthrough down the mall. Ah. <laughs> way, way, way out in the woods and absolutely clueless as to where we are. Okay, so here's a, a river. Could be helpful. We're going westwards. So the river is coming from the north. Or at least going in a north-south direction. So that we can use as a help eventually to try and find out where we are. Let's see, so if I'm going northwest woods and well it's definitely in very late autumn. I got the 
the guide sticks for the snow plows up and these little these red plastic poles along the road will poke out all the snow and give the snow plow, plow drivers an indication about where they should be plowing okay here we have two things so now we're at the Riesberg okay that at least I know where it, well I've seen it on the map all right at least and we are uh, we are on the I can't read that dang okay we're at the Riesberg and the Riesberg is uh, here <coughs> so does that mean we're on the 493 Okay, next, next question is where does the Riesberg start? So this might have been the waterway we crossed. Uh, so we came now. Wait a minute. Which direction did we come from? We came. Um, we came from the south, didn't we? No, because now, now I'm looking south. In the direction we came. So here we. Okay, but now we're looking south. No, no, yeah. So we are. Confused is what we are. Oh man, I'm suddenly my brain to totally ceased to function. So now I am going south. East, southeast. And now when I go around this bend, I'm going northeast. <laughs> but you guys are laughing your behinds off because I'm so utterly clueless right now. Thing is, we could be on the 491, but I don't think we are. We could, of course, be on one of these side roads as well. It's interesting, though, that they call this a village. Or at least that it had its signs for a village. Okay, so I'm going north, and I'm going, now I'm going sharply eastwards. So... I'm wondering if it might have been here. I could sort... No, it doesn't rhyme with the 491 because we were on that, and that was definitely not a gravel road. So if we were anywhere down here, we should be have we should have come up on this place very shortly. Uh, hmm. <laughs> right, and now we're going southeast. Southeast. Of course, we could have been coming up on this place from the north. Mm. Let's see. Access roads off to the side. And here we're coming up on that river thing. Which I still think can be this. Let's see, there should be a couple of access roads. There should be one directly across here. That must be this one. I'm going straight into a bend, and that's fairly straight. On the other side, it should be a very short one. Going off like so, and there is. Okay. So. So, okay, so we are probably somewhere here. Could be on that bit, could be on that bit, I think. Road does a slight curve that way before it goes that way. Mm, let's just check around the bend here again. Yeah, quite a short little stretch before it heads off to the left. And then we're gonna be on that river thing, right? Right, there we are. Okay, so we are on this bit of road. Next question, have we come out of the bend? No, we have not. So 
So we are roughly here it. But uh, let's see if we can pinpoint that a bit more precisely. One, two, three, four, three, two. So we're two away from the bend. And that could be, depending on the speed it's driving, that could be up to. Uh, it could be like 40, 40 to 50 meters away. Well, we are really, really, really close to the bend. Okay, so let's say two. Let's count the other way and see if we can figure out the start of the bend at the other end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, we have definitely been there. Now, 22, 21, 20. Okay, so that's where the road is straight. So down there is 20. So if you put that, the start of the bend up there, and then we have, let's try and put that bit on the, so like the starting points of the bends the margins of the map or rather than the margins of the window like so okay so 20 and 22 wasn't the 22 wasn't that what i said i hope it was what i said so that means 22 so that is let's see let's put it like so so the middle is roughly there isn't it yeah, let's call that 11. Let's call that five, two and a half, and a little bit. So let's call two up here. Don't think that's too bad. I don't want to move a couple of meters that way. Make sure the marker is on the road, 10 meters away. That was a slightly tough map, but we still made it. So yeah, <laughs> that was Vorlet in the Inlander region. That was a lot of woods. Hope we can have a bit more, well, a, a, bro a broader views in the next, in the next map, which will be episode eighty-seven. So until then, bye bye.